Good morning. It is a beautiful day. Beautiful day out. Uh, a little bit of cloud, like light clouds. So hopefully what that means is uh, good weather coming up. Today we are going to get our hitch installed, hopefully. So um, it's not a far drive. Need to stop at the bank to grab some cash. Yeah, let's get everything packed up and ready. That's gonna be a big, big uh, benefit for us to have a, uh, a hitch to install our bike rack. <laughs> small things, very small things. Um, and with the nice weather here, we should, uh, just trying to make things not go flat, that should mean we are able to go ahead and paint our bus this weekend. Would be really nice. <clears throat> Finish painting, I should say. So, um, what it? it's been two weeks now when looking at that. <laughs> Need to hang this back up. Gotta figure out a good place for this. We're really approaching quickly that bare minimum of, uh, you know, we got our pipe lid in, we got subfloor, we got some insulation in. Uh, believe it or not, it's actually a little warmer. Now, we're losing a lot of heat from these windows. That's to be expected. Um, but, and frankly, uh, we might lose a little extra heat because of the windows. Um, you know, I, I don't know what the percentage would be, but it's gonna be a good percentage more uh, than like a you know, RV windows. Um, but we're also not going to Alaska. Um, our RVs have always been drafty. By the way, we went ahead and wired up the little LED sign that we have. And uh, <laughs> I think it's so funny. And uh, uh, I love it. It's gonna be a cold start. Beautiful day out. Oh, uh, oh! It was the uh, flooring. Oh, that is some heavy flooring. Yeah, uh, the windows are much smaller. Easy enough to see out of, but uh, much smaller here than uh, <laughs> they were. point out as well while I'm driving here how quiet it is in here. Roof is insulated, floor is insulated, sides are insulated for the most part uh, other than the windows and we do actually have holes in the back right and up top here where the lights are gonna go. Listen to how quiet it is. Kind of open window there. How quiet it is in here. Although I'm a fan of the turbo whistle you know but not crazy. Wee. Let's take a look at Oh man. That's the first time I've seen it out in the wild. And it, uh, oh, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks a little like a meth mobile, but not for long. I think it's just a, I mean, it also just looks like it's in the process of being painted. Although that kind of looks like primer. So I, would, I think a lot of folks are like, what's the final color gonna be? That. <laughs> Oh man, you know, Letty looks a lot shorter though, missing the two windows in the middle. Um, I, I'm just so tickled about that. I love that color. Um, I saw it a long time ago. I think it was a Dodge Charger. I saw something similar. I was like, oh, what the heck is that? And the more I thought about it, I was like, I kind of like it. I don't know. Is it weird? Probably. It's all right. Grab a little cash. Okay, yeah, look at this. Handsome sun. Oh, we got some yellow sticking out. Yeah, I need to get that spot really good. Need to get in the handles. 
Uh, definitely need to get back under there. Those are the only tricky spots on this. If the weatherman is right, and this time, like I 100% do not trust Apple weather. That has been consistently wrong every single time. But my weather app uh, concurs with Apple weather right now. And so if that's accurate, uh, we will have plenty of time and I can uh, go ahead and open that door, uh, run the paint in there, open the door, close it, continue on. So it should be easy enough. All right, let's head on out. I find it so hard to believe how quiet it is in here. Uh, around 50 miles an hour or so. Even with the holes up here. What? Oh no! I'll fall through! This is so funny. So it's a, there's a high school right here. Uh, everybody is staring. They're like, what the hell? <laughs> and laughing. Apparently it's a goofy image with Lenny here. All right. Awkward. I'm not going to your school, I promise. <laughs> how, to get, how to get banned from parks, Chuck E. Cheese's, and school grounds. <laughs> Things are underway. And <coughs> looks like this is the hitch. It is adjustable. Um, got some uh, got some parts. So it, it looks like he's going to be able to use the existing holes, which is awesome. When he removes these bolts, he'll just have to elongate uh, some of these guys. It looks like, and he just needs to shim it so that uh, we can get below the bumper and all that. So that's all he's got to do. Something I could probably eventually figure out, but it would. He's got all the parts. And uh, he knows what he's talking about, which is great. Uh, and I yeah, got everything all set up here. Yeah, super nice guy. The before. Okay. And we'll be keeping these hooks, of course. But uh, see what we got here on this side. Yeah, we'll still retain all of the access that we need. Very easy, which is really nice. All right, quick update. We ran into a small teensy wincy snafu. Uh, and we have a workaround, sounds like. So, we were going to use the existing bolts here, and or here rather, and here, um, and maybe elongate just one of these, but uh, that, that's not quite going to work because when you go ahead and install these guys, the way that they sit actually hits the cross member in those bolts that are right up there. So it hits, these guys just the way that that naturally sits but if you go ahead if we scoot it back uh just about until it's touching the uh the bumper here uh right about there uh we go ahead and elongate let's see he's got it on this side if we go ahead and, and elongate this a slight bit uh we can just use uh this bolt let me see yeah, we can use this hole and this guy a little bit more elongated and then we drill a different uh, hole in here if that makes sense uh, so we're adding a hole in here elongating one in there and then we can run bolts through we were going to use shims on these and uh, just kind of drop it down lower in this case we either don't have to use shims at all or we'll use maybe a quarter inch shim instead of uh, um, you know up to three inches to get around these these bolts uh, what does that mean it just means that uh, we're less likely to drag which is good so oh well, let's see we'll, we'll get it done hopefully today uh fingers crossed it's a relatively simple deal uh, it sounds like but he's pulling out like all sorts of tools to along like he's not just using like a standard drill and uh and um drill bit to elongate the like he's using all sorts of fancy he got air tools and stuff here so ah, that's cool at least there's no wiring involved that's for sure just a beautiful day <laughs> yeah look at it mm -mm -mm. wow so it's seven o'clock we're done <sighs> glad to have the hitch installed it's good uh it's solid um I need to stop out here in Redmond. There's a Home Depot right down the way. And I'm gonna grab a few screws, a couple uh, screws to what my options are, and some Gorilla Glue, and then head back. The fun part is, is we are racing the clock because I only brought these for prescription um, because I should not have needed a 
regular eye glasses, like non tinted glasses. So, yeah. Man, driving through the city, you would think this is like a celebrity bus or something. And uh, most people are like smiling and waving. A couple confused people, and I think other folks are cracking jokes at our expense because uh, I think a lot of folks think that that is uh, Lenny's like primer, that it's not his full color, so that's fun too. Um, but uh, yeah, I think <laughs> if you pull up next to a school, it kind of looks like a kind of like a creeper bus. <laughs> Ten bucks for Gorilla Glue. Could have sworn we were. Uh, I know everything's gone up. I can't accept it. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what though, Lenny does not stand out anymore. And there's a little uh, searcher Class C RV behind us, which is kind of cool, like 90s graphics. Sort of remind me of those little cups. Um, other uh, recyclable cups or whatever, you, you know, we get a better shot. Yeah, you see those, uh, those little paper cups they used to have, kind of wax uh, film over them. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that. I think it's kind of cool. I like it. And that RV almost fits in just one spot. So anywho, this is the hitch. Uh, we did make a few minor adjustments, um, but honestly, once that bumper is painted, it's gonna look pretty dang good. So um, also again, got some compliments on the uh, the LEDs here. Uh, I do actually have plans to throw another red uh, here and then two more reds up there. We'll do that. Uh, that's a low priority, but uh, yeah, we'll get that going as well soon enough <sighs> anyways thank you guys for watching and i hope you had a little more fun my body is killing me uh, as the day goes on it's just just uh whoop, i almost forgot to lock the door oh that uh yeah that fibromyalgia man i'll tell you it's getting me so anywho thanks for watching see you in the next video guys bye